What's up everybody? This is Mommy Wata. I am back with another channel message. Hello to my new subscribers. Thank you all for your support. Thank you all, everyone, the old and the new. Um, I couldn't do this without your views, your likes, your shares, okay? I do appreciate the support. Um, I can't thank you enough. I keep saying thank you. <laughs> so, um, I hope that expresses my gratitude properly, okay? Um, it's a lot happening. I don't know. It ain't happening to me, but it's happening out here in this world. So we're going to see what the Holy Spirit wants us to know. We're going to start off with an oracle message. Let's just see what the Holy Spirit wants us to know. I don't want to speak too soon. Let's see what the oracle message is. Something just fell out. I feel like I need to look at it. So we're going to look. Your commitment is being tested. Okay. So someone's commitment to something is being tested. Let's get one more oracle message and let's just see if the Holy Spirit has another message for us. That might be it, but we're going to see Holy Spirit. Any other oracle messages? Wow. We had two that actually flipped over. Let's see what they say. Okay. Take time to breathe out. And the end of a tough cycle approaches. So somebody been going through it with their relationship, okay? I had channeled this a little bit earlier, but I didn't get into it. Um, actually, no, I didn't even mention that one. What I picked up on was that I was picking up on two people who had gotten together partly on lustful and superficial reasons. And then they started catching hell because they were out here, you know, doing some dirt, doing some devilment. So they started going through some things together and they separated. And they are um, currently at a point now where they're trying, you know, they've been catching hell separately, okay? They was catching hell together and they separated thinking, mm, maybe this will ease the karma some, but they're still getting their karma. So these two people have decided or are deciding, contemplating coming back together, okay? So that it may, like maybe they feel like if they come back together and they work together and um, try to do better together that this will ease the burden, okay? And maybe it will. We have the end of a tough cycle approaches. Um, your commitment is being tested. Take time to breathe out. So these people were, like I said, they was going through something, okay, from their pre their karmic decisions that they made as a couple. They were facing their karma, and it really put a strain on their commitment. So they separated. They took a time out to, you know, they took a break from each other, okay? But um, like I said, they are thinking, hey, let's come back together now. We're kind of going downhill as far as the karma goes, you know, starting to level off. So maybe we can come back together, try to correct, you know, our mistakes, right our wrongs, and we can possibly find our way out of this, okay? I hope y'all follow me. I hope that I explained that well. We're going to get some tarot on these individuals, okay? Um... I do feel like these people are having some blues, though. This is why they're like, you know, um, you know, they do say I can do bad all by myself. But some people feel like, hell, if I'm doing bad, I might as well go back to the person that I was already doing bad with. I ain't got to be alone doing bad. You know, some people do think like that. These people are facing judgment for whatever they did. What did they do? They're feeling stuck. They're feeling like, you know, how much more can they take? Or, like I said, if they get together, will this karma ease off some? This emperor possibly here may have been the masculine energy in this situation. Holy Spirit, what would you like us to know about these oracle messages? These people want to have a passionate new beginning, okay? They feel like if they get back together, they can have a passionate new beginning and they can kind of Slide their way up out of this judgment, this hierophant. Damn. Okay. One more shuffle. 
then I'm gonna deal some. But you, I keep seeing the message, okay? So let's go. Holy Spirit, what would you what else with you? We got the four of swords. I'm telling you, these people have been sitting up wondering, thinking, contemplating, trying to decide if they need to lay this relationship to rest for good or if they need to get back together and try to make it work. We have the six of cups. I'm telling you now. These two people are considering coming back together. They like, oh, the worst is over. That's what I just heard. The worst is over. Let's see if we can try this again. This mug on his knee, giving this woman a love offer like, hey, we made it out of this. So let's see if we can come back together and pop something off again. We have the two of wands. They, for a while, and I still feel to a certain extent, have been watching their world fall apart. And they've been trying to decide if, if rejoining is going to be beneficial for them. Dang. We have the, and I don't think it is. I really feel like, I don't know. But, hey, I feel like they think it's, a, it's worth a try. I feel like one of them thinks it's worth a try and the other one doesn't. The other one just wants to um, leave well enough alone, okay, with this five of cups here and keep it moving. But I feel like the feminine wants to try. There may be a child involved here, but this masculine, he's rowing the boat. He's trying to move forward with this feminine energy here, but he doesn't seem so sure, okay? So I feel like the feminine is the one who's suggesting to this masculine that they need to reconnect. They need to get back together so that maybe what they're going through won't be so rough on them. But uh, let me just shut up. What else, Holy Spirit? We have the Ten of Cups. She want her family back. What else, Holy Spirit? Will she get it back, though? We have the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like this is the feminine energy currently. She is single. Um, the Nine of Pentacles energy. Hmm. Clarify that. We have... The moon and the eight of wands. I was just about to say, the nine of pentacles energy is somebody who is generally, oh, you know, doing okay for themselves. They, you know, they making a way. They may not have the most money, but they do got nine out of the ten pentacles by themselves. So they doing okay. You know, they can go shopping if they want to. They can take a spontaneous trip if they want to. That type of energy, okay? And I feel like this is how this feminine has been trying to appear to other people like she's still doing okay even though she's not with this masculine energy but the holy spirit says that's a lie with this moon card okay this nine of pentacles is actually probably in the opposite energy she's probably in a nine of pentacles reverse type of energy she probably is not doing too good she's probably having to go to family and friends for assistance and help because she does not have the assistance and help of this other person, which is probably why she want him back. I'm telling y'all, she's been really moving forward towards this masculine energy, trying to convince him, coming at him hard, trying to convince him that, hey, we need to get back together. You going through it and I'm going through it. So maybe if we get back together, we won't be going through it as bad. Okay. Any final messages, Holy Spirit, about this energy? We have the hangman again. They both feel stuck. She's the one who's thinking that returning to this relationship is the solution, though. I mean, we haven't even seen this masculine energy out here yet. This man has shown his face yet, except for on the Six of Cups. I feel like maybe at first he thought... This might have been a good idea, but then, you know, he thought about it like, I don't know if I want to get tied up with this person again, because look what I'm going through now. 
for trying it with her the first time, possibly the second or third time, okay? I feel like this is not the first, these people's first time around America around, all right? These two people have been down this road before. That's what I'm picking up here. They've tried it before a couple of times. And I feel like this masculine possibly feels stuck to this Nine of Pentacles energy. He wants to move forward, but he feels stuck. Like he can't get rid of her ass. Mm, that's what I just heard, y'all. Any, any final messages? I'm telling you, that man is tired of this woman. He got his guard up. She is the one who, again, is trying to convince him that if they get back together, the karma will ease off some. It won't be that that much to bear. The brunt to bear won't be as big. But I feel like this masculine energy has his guard up. He protected himself so much to the point that he ain't even disclosing who he is in this reading, okay? This man do not want to be involved. He's trying to move forward. He is trying to move forward. Final messages. I'm about to close this reading. I think that's it. That's what I think. Y'all, we're going to drop the mic on this one. We have the Ten of Wands. Okay, and Halftime by Amy Winehouse just came on. I decided to, you know, do some of my channel with music as well tonight. And I'm telling them songs been hitting back to back to back. And I ain't heard this song in a minute too. Halftime by Amy Winehouse. Look it up. But basically she's saying it's time, it's time to take take a breather. It's time to think it through. Consider, you know, look at it from a different view. Halftime. Okay, and that's what this masculine energy has done. He has taken the time to consider if this is going to even be worth another shot. Is anything going to be different or I'm gonna, am I just going to be creating more karma for myself? And ladies and gentlemen, he has decided to go and walk away. It was just 1221 on the phone. All right. I hope this message has helped somebody. I hope it has given you some guidance and direction, okay? It's time to start crying over spilled milk and move forward in your life in 2022. If it doesn't apply, let it fly, and I'll be back with another one, y'all. Peace.